What's up, where's your boy Iconic? Back again with another video. Yes, sir, we are back in the Iconic Studios. Back with something different, man. I'm gonna call this segment my weekly rotation. Definitely gonna be just coming to y'all with my everyday sneakers that I wore from Monday to Sunday and bring it to you fresh today. So before we get started with this video, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also that notification bell so you can stay in tune with the reviews on Feast, the sneaker vlog and the sneaker news, and now my weekly rotations. Let's not waste any time, let's get into it. Boom, Monday, 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 I brought out the Nike Dunk Low. Uh, I don't know, I think they nicknaming these the Panda or the Black and White. I just call them the Black and White Dunks, man. Uh, they did come out this year. Uh, this was the shoe that I wore on Monday. I wore it with, what I wear this with? Oh, I wore this with my um, X shirt that my fiance made. Shout out to my fiance and her business. I threw it on, it was an uh, X shirt that represented Malcolm X. And I threw it on with these uh, shoes with some blue jeans. Definitely had to go ahead and throw these on feet, man. This shoe, uh, easily one of my favorite purchases of the year. Um, I've worn them like crazy. You probably can't see as far as like the D's on here, but this shoe is definitely worn like crazy. It's definitely worn, man. I've been getting all my wear out of it. And the best thing about this shoe, man, just to be completely honest with y'all, man, is that it's 100% wearable. Like you don't have to try hard at all with this sneaker to pull a fit off, bro. Like this, this shoe itself is easily, can be easily worn without any hassle. Um, the best thing about it, you know, just that contrast of black and white. You can wear this with white jeans, uh, white jeans. You can wear this with black jeans, blue jeans, you know, cargos, uh, sweatpants, whatever you want to wear it with. And this black and white will always pop. Um, I do suggest, you know, either wearing like maybe a white top or a black top. Just something to keep it like really dull. You ain't got to OD with this. Um, I know for a fact that as far as like resale, this shoe will continue to go up because it's so similar to the Nike SB um, Supreme Dunk that, you know, why not? Why not grab this for a cheaper alternative? Um, I definitely grabbed it for a cheaper alternative because I was not paying the price for that Nike Supreme Dunk. So uh, this was Monday's wears. Let's go ahead and get into Tuesday. Boom! And we have it here, man, my Tuesday wear. The Air Jordan 11 Space Jam from 2016, I believe, or 2017. Um, it does have that four five on the back, man. Definitely, definitely, definitely a shoe that must, and I mean a must be in your collection, man. I don't care if you got all the 11s. If you don't have the Space Jam, the Concord, and the Bread 11, what are you doing? What are you doing really with your life, man? So I had to bring out the Space Jam 11. I think I just threw this on with something definitely plain. Blue jeans, I think just a, I think I wore my hoodie that day. I think I pulled out my hoodie. I didn't wear anything crazy with this shoe specifically, but always uh, a shoe that I feel like I can grab at any point and just throw on. Um, one thing I do love about it is the patent leather. I do like with this specific version that they brought back the high patent leather um, and made it more true to the actual, um, what would they call it, the player exclusive. A lot of people were mad about the 4.5, but I remember reading forums back in the day where people was like, bring it back, man, bring it back, bring it with the OG, put the 4.5 on the back, and once we got the 4.5, everybody was complaining about it. They wanted the regular 23, but I personally think it's a definitely dope shoe. Um, a lot of people would consider this just being a, like the, the Concord, the, uh, the black Concord and not the Space Jam because on the original Space Jam, I believe from 2008 or nine, uh, it's more that, that purple is more blue. And this one, um, this one is more like a, it's, I don't know, I can't really explain it, but that Concord, that Concord purple hit right there, it's like the black Concord, in, in my opinion, how they gonna look at it. You know, some people just call this the Playoff 11, some people call it the Space Jam, but for me, I'm just gonna stick with the Space Jam. I remember seeing it um, in Space Jam. I didn't see it back when he played in the playoffs for the first, uh, with this shoe for the first time when he brought it out. So I'm gonna go with calling it the Space Jam. The theme for everything was Space Jam, so I'm gonna call it the Space Jam. Um, whatever you wanna call it. It's a dope shoe, a fire shoe. Had to, had to bust these out, man. It's been a while. I wanna know from y'all, man, when was the last time y'all wore y'all Concord Space Jams or Breads, man? Not gonna hold it up, man. We gonna jump right into Wednesday. Boom, and Wednesday, I had to bring out the Flint 13s. 
And I must say, man, this shoe right here was a shoe that I have had before, sold it, got it back, and it's not going anywhere anymore, man. Definitely keep it in the collection. The uh, Air Jordan 13 Flint is one of those, uh, just like coming from where I come from, man, the Flint 13s, the 13s in general was always like the family shoe or the hood shoe. You know, the hood loved the 13s. Flint 13s, um, Cherry 13s, Playoffs, uh, the black and red 13s before they started calling them breads. Um, you know, Wheat 13s. That This shoe was always a popular shoe. Uh, people are never skipping out on the Air Jordan 13 and they sell out every single time. The one, uh, the one thing I love about this specific shoe because it's just totally to the left um, with the uh, the blue, the French blue that's in it and the gray hits with the white. It's like a perfect combination. Um, it is one of them shoes that, man, you have to be into. I love they got that little baby blue hit right there on the tongue. It's probably blown out so you probably can't see it. But I love the fact that they did um, re-release this joint with the 3M. I have a picture right here that I had took with the 3M. But it's definitely a shoe that must be in your collection if you like Air Jordan 13 in my opinion um, again you got that 3m side uh, side panels on both sides you got the white leather which is pretty pretty decent it's not too crazy got the white laces you got that Jordan here right there got your carbon fiber on the side um, carbon fiber on the bottom um, you got your paw prints right here in white you got that navy blue hit here you got that holographic ball right there and that's always gonna be that perfect, perfect part right here. Holographic ball, holographic ball right here as well. And a lot of people will tell you they love 13s because of that. I love this Air Jordan 13 because of that. Um, and just to get, just to let a lot of people know, if you didn't know, the Air Jordan 13 was designed after a Panther. Um, they used to call Mike the Black Cat back in the day. Um, his friends, close friends only, Tinker took that idea and made this with that. So. Definitely a dope shoe, man. Let me know when the last time you wore a pair of 13s. Um, I currently have every 13 except the playoffs and cherry 13s and wheats. As far as like OG colorways or anything that's close to it. But I have these, I have the He Got Games, I have the breads, and uh, what else do I have? I think that's it. I think that's it. I have I have the ones that I like the most, which are more close to the OG. Again, the only ones I don't have is the cherries, the um the weeks and the playoff playoff 13 so that was it for wednesday let's go ahead and get into thursday boom and thursday 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 was a definitely dope day for the first time ever i pulled out my new um nike phone positives uh in the royal colorway man definitely had to have this joint in my collection this shoe came re-released back in 2017 but originally dropped in 1997 debuted it by mike bibby um, while he was out in college but became a signature sneaker for penny hardaway um definitely this shoe in itself man is very dope the royal blue just popped something crazy but i can't explain it i know on the light you're probably not gonna see it as good the dark deep blue um, because the light i'm using natural light from the window but the blue on this shoe goes so crazy, man. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I know a lot of people have been telling me before I bought this shoe that um, that that these were uncomfortable. But in my opinion, in my opinion, they feel good. They feel good. I might be over exaggerating. I don't know. I ain't gonna say I'm over exaggerating. I might be. For me, it might be a comfortable shoe. For others, it might not. I will say, in my left foot, I probably could have went up to 11 and a half. But I'm fine. I can wear this all day. I wear this all day. Again, only part I would say didn't even hurt to where it was like uncomfortable, but just was a little tight was the uh, my left foot because you know my left foot is a little bit bigger. So I think I could have went 11 and a half, but having this 11 does not make it com uncomfortable for me. I literally wore these like three times this week outside of wearing the other shoes because I just would like continue to break them in. But I like them, man. And it actually has um, made me want more phones after having this one shoe because it looks so great on feet. And I like just like the design. And again, I, I like what it screams. It screams that 90s vibe, man. You got right here that penny hit on the back, penny hit on the tongue. As you can see, I wore it real sloppy with the laces out like this um, with some blue jeans. 
Uh, and man, I just love, I love the foam posit, man. I was sleeping. This is the first time I've ever had a foam posit and it won't be my last foam posit. I definitely want to buy the, a lot of the old ones that I wanted. Uh, quick look at the bottom right here. Still looking icy, still looking good. Uh, you do got your little carbon fiber on the side right here, right here. And again, um, a lot of people don't know that this shoe was actually originally made for Scottie Pippen. Um, another fun fact about the shoe that it cost Nike $750,000 just to get a mold correctly, a uh, mold correct for this shoe to be able to be generated. And um, again, that type of innovation with this shoe just makes me realize how dope this shoe is. It does have two zoom air units in it. So that was another thing that I thought was very dope and why I think it's so comfortable. And that's why I said, I don't know why people feel like they're not comfortable, but overall, man, this shoe is hot. Again, shout out my boy King of Kicks um, for the pickup. I definitely think it's a super dope shoe. I still gotta bring y'all like a secondary on feet, but I definitely think a person should have at least at a minimum one pair of phones in their collection, especially if you're a Penny fan. If you're a Penny fan, you need these, you need these. So yeah, man, that was Thursday. Let's go ahead and head into Friday. Boom, and here we have it. Friday, I brought out the Raging Bull 5s from 2022. One, um, it is no secret that your boy did have a 2009 pair. It was too small. I was wearing, I wore them even though they was too small because I love the shoe. That was like a grill. Still is a grill for me. And um, I, I traded them out to Curated Heat. But I had to bring these out, man. I wore this with um, a shirt made by Fetty Apparel. I'll make sure to tag them somewhere. Um, but I brought this out with some nice blue jeans. I wore these and I just pulled it off very, very, very nice with no hesitation. Definitely, definitely a grail. I have two pairs of these joints. Do I wish the red was a little darker all the way around? Yes, I do. Actually, my second pair I have, I feel like it's darker than this one. So I definitely think it was a lot of like, somewhat defects and somewhat okay shoes that went out with this joint, with this specific release, but I'm not complaining, man. I'm not gonna get a 2009 pair in a good condition to be able to wear them. So um, my personal opinion, man, if you can grab these, grab them now, because a year or two from now, this shoe will be back at four or $500. So if you can go ahead and pay the little 260, 270 um, to grab them, you know, grab them. Or you might can get them lower if you reach out to some of the people locally on Facebook groups. But at this point, I just watch out because there's so many fakes out here floating around that if that person's not known for having sneakers and you they're not like a reliable source, I wouldn't cop. So again, man, the Raging Bull 5 definitely had to put this in rotation this week for Friday. I bust them joints out. See, boom, right there. Got that red jump, man, clear bottom. Jordan right there in the middle. You got that two, three on the side. You got the reflective tongue with the black jump, man. You got the red laces. I want to switch these out with black laces and see how they hit, because I see a lot of people bring the black laces out and they look pretty good. But yeah, man, Friday I had to bring out the Raging Bull 5s. Y'all let me know how y'all felt about this release. Is it a shoe that you have in your collection? Did you pass? I know for a fact for me, this was a grail. I had to have it. And my next grail is gonna be the Lightning Force. And then, you know, I might have to hang it up for a while for y'all, man. But yeah, man, the Air Jordan 5, uh, Raging Bull, must have in the collection. Had to wear it, bust it out this week. Let's go ahead and get into Saturday. Boom, and we have it here, the Air Jordan 4 Fire Red from 2020, man. Yes, sir, I had to grab this. Um, I had to wear this uh, this Saturday. I threw it on with a Red Supreme shirt, um, some black Nike shorts. And um, I basically just kind of, you know, a little matchy-matchy on this joint. I had a photo shoot this weekend, so I just grabbed and go. But I personally want to say, man, to all the people that was sleeping on this shoe and thought it was trash, this shoe is now over $300. And um, I I'm sorry, I'm not even sorry you missed out because Y'all be playing games with the OGs, bro. Y'all be showing the OG shoes no respect. No respect. Put some respect on the Air Jordan 4 Fire Red. Put some respect on the OGs, bro. Go look at them prices. They up right now. And um, this shoe is definitely over 300 right now. Um, people were saying it was trash. Quality was terrible. Now, don't get me wrong. Some of the shoes that came in, I did see some defects. But again, man, y'all be acting like regular shoes don't have a defects, bro. And you have to realize that when that uh, mass producing at a uh, large point like that, it's bound to happen, bro. It's bound to happen. But as far as quality, I love the quality of this shoe. A person cannot say this shoe does not have good quality as far as leather. In my opinion, it's very good. It feels better than the Air Jordan 4 uh, white cements. 
um, that I have in my collection. Um, that leather was like very stiff to the point where it didn't move. But with this, this leather is good. It wrinkles up, but it doesn't look bad. Like this is one of those shoes that you can wear that looks beat up anytime, any place, and you can still pull it off. Back there on the back, you already know. That's what makes it so, so special. That Nike Air on the back. Um, you got that red Jumpman right here. I like the way what they, I like what they did with this version right here. Put that um, extra padding for the tongue behind the tongue. They hit it and they really gave it that OG feel, that OG look. Of course, it's not exactly the same, but I definitely think um, they got as close as possible. Shoe is extremely worn. Um, I'm sorry if it's blown out at all. It might be blown out a lot, but yeah, man, I definitely, definitely a shoe in my collection that I'm glad I have. I almost, you know, recently with wearing this shoe so much, I almost want to call this my grail or my shoe that I would even pick if it was the last shoe I wore. Most likely it'd be this, man. Um, I used to like breads and white cements, but this came in and like I've been wearing it. I've always wanted it. I've always had that one picture of Jordan Sin on the court wearing these. I've always like just glared at that picture and now that I finally have it and I wore it the way I wore it, it's like, man, this actually, this actually feels like more of my favorite shoe out of the Air Jordan 4 than all of them. So crazy to say, but it's facts. I did double up on this joint, um, but yeah, man, y'all let me know when was the last time you wore your Air Jordan 4 Fire Reds? Do you have any other Air Jordan 4s in your collection? Did you pick up this specific one? Um, and tell me what y'all like and dislike about it, but. That was Saturday. Let's go ahead and finish off with Sunday. Boom, and Sunday, Independence Day, July 4th. I had to be in the spirit a little bit, man. Like I didn't go buy no fireworks, but I did bring out some kicks, man, that you know a lot of people try to bring out during those holiday times like the 4th of July, Independence Day. And I brought to y'all the 2020 um, Nike Up Tempo and the blue and white colorway or Olympic up tempo worn by Scottie Pippen and the Olympics. Um, very, very, very dope shoe. Um, a lot of people, a lot of people feel that uh, up tempos are very chunky, which they are, they're very chunky, um, but I like it, I like it. Again, it screams 90s, it screams bold, it screams creativity, it screams I'm not afraid to test the waters, I'm not afraid to shake the table. When I look at this shoe, it screams Nike, bro. It screams Nike, it screams what Nike was doing in the 90s and what I haven't seen Nike do in a while, in my opinion. Um, uh, the biggest thing I love about this a lot is just that big, big, big air. Uh, with it being white on the side, it really like pops out. Like on the black and white ones, it doesn't. But this one, since it's like white all the way around, the air just looks so much bigger on this shoe. And that's why I really, really, really like this one. You got that navy blue hits on that joint. You got a Nike swoosh red there. Nike swoosh red there. Um, you got a. I don't like why they. I don't know why they didn't pull this up a little bit more. But you got your. Nike red, Nike swoosh red there as well. You got that bungee lacing, uh, which is a gift and a curse, man. Like it's good on this shoe, but on those Charles Barkley's, it's hell, bro. It's hell on Charles Barkley. So um, what else, what else? On the back, you got that jewel swoosh, which I thought was so dope. You got that number eight right there on the back that they put on that joint right there as well. Um, uh, air unit is gold. You probably ain't gonna be able to see it because the light is so bright. But you got a gold air unit um, bottom. Got that big red swoosh. You got that red swoosh right here on the bottom with that gold plate. Yeah, man, I just feel like the Uptip is definitely one of those shoes that you have to have in your collection if you're into that OG shit like I am. But yeah, man, that was Sunday. That ends off my seven day weekly rotation. Y'all let me know in the comments, man, what y'all think about my rotation for the week, man. Was it hot, was it not? Let me know what you wore this week, all this week. It could be just one shoe, it could have been seven shoes. But I wanna know from y'all, man, what y'all think about this new segment. Before y'all go, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also that notification bell so you can stay in tune with the reviews, the on feats, the sneaker vlog and the sneaker news, and now the weekly rotations. Thank y'all for watching. Future belongs to those who prepare today. Till tomorrow, y'all. 